after seven months, I'm back to Hero Pump. I had lost my account, but I got it back. So we're back here. Mm, the new style of Hero Bump. Visually, it's it's now appealing. So hopefully the gameplay isn't that disappointing and no bugs or glitches like it was last time I played. But um, it looks like they had a couple of updates. Uh, they changed the abilities on quite a few characters. Mm, for example, Mega Jaw. I've seen that. So when he devours his ally and then spits him back out, before you were able to the ally that you were spit out could use his abilities right but i used it on the um, panda from what i've seen and um, panda doesn't use his abilities to roll after he gets spit out right so i believe that changed let's see um pyromancer still the same the monk is still the same. Mm, who else changed? I believe. Let me see. Oh, I saw. Let's see. Uh, gains attack. Yeah. I saw that. In gameplay wise. I don't know if they still gain attack. After Anubis hits them. His mummies. But we'll have to see that later. Let's see. All this is the same. And the same, mm -hmm. they're all the same. Rocky Kong, I think his abilities aren't that good anymore. Uh, oh, Tonto, Tonto changed. Instead of um, doing like super strong attacks, he now goes invisible, which is pretty good. Um, Cause I was doing a little testing and when I was up against Tanto, I would forget that he was still in the game. And, you know, it would be surprising towards the end. Like, oh, he's still alive, right? What else? Um, all this the same. The cloud, floaty. Now he creates like a screen, a cloud screen or a smoke screen, you could say. And um, makes the whole area not visible uh, it's pretty good for defensive or weaker uh, allies that you have uh, let's see archer got nerfed his second and third arrows deal 50% less damage I remember they didn't do that but yeah he got nerfed big time this splash I don't know what happened with him with those three characters, like, if he gets hit when he's like that, does he die, you know? Let's see, um, this guy's pretty slow. Um, Frank, Frankenstein, this guy has potential. Uh, reading his abilities, right? After three stacks, he brings the character towards him. So I have a couple ideas for him. Uh, I see they added this beam bot. I have to see if once he gets filled up and he can use his attack, if it's like a one hit KO and your enemies are dead. Um, <laughs> Mm, loses their skill next turn. Okay. Oh, this character they added. This is pretty. It's pretty powerful too. Like, if you trap them inside, right? Like in the video, they won't be able to really touch your enemies or your allies. Right. Especially the slower, heavier characters. Um, let's see. 
Turns out with the highest attack, turn the enemy hero the other end. I need to read that later. <laughs> mm, double damage, okay. <laughs> oh, now it's travel distance, okay. Alright. So, we're back. Yeah, they changed a lot of stuff. Got the season pass, 22 days, okay. Um. The shop looks more organized now. Not bad, not bad. More, more things. Good for you, Hero Bump. You're getting more, much better. All right, we got scout packs. Super chest with these keys. That's new, I believe. We got the events, gotcha machine, uh, the rankings, and modes. Yes, they changed modes. Now they have uh, another mode called Hero Pitch. That's pretty cool. They have these trials, chapters that were already there, and dual ranked. So. Coming back after seven months <laughs> of not playing Hero Bump. It's pretty cool. Um, so they did update a lot of stuff. So I am going to try to make some good decks for you. Let's see what the new meta is and all that. Uh, with some good combination of characters. For now I'm testing this one out. Uh, Mega Jaw, Pyromancer, the Monk, and Bastet. This new ability that they put on her is awesome. So basically, you get like two turns or two hits, two uses in one turn. And that's pretty deadly when you combine them with characters that you don't really want your enemy to hit, right? For example, maybe Thunder Elemental would be good to replace, right? Right there. Mm. Even the Wolf. Even the Wolf. Alright, it's pretty good. Pretty good teammate. Um... But just for this video, you can never go wrong, right? For any basic deck, dual, because hero pitch is a new thing we got to test out. Um, but you can never go wrong with with two damage dealers and two allies that give buffs, right? So you got your healer and you got your defense, right? And Specter here, Spectra, um, can dash, you know, he goes invisible, basically, and goes through the enemies, so, um, gives her stacks to heal you guys up more, and, uh, pass by him and get some reinforcements, right, some damage increase, or damage reduced, and the monk, the monk is the monk but yeah we're gonna go ahead and uh, be back let's see what decks is good for duels let's see what decks is good for um hero pitch that's gonna be awesome mm. and yeah we'll go ahead later on and see what trials is Oh yeah, and they add a new, new like uh, arena special events. It's pretty cool. You gotta account for that. And yeah, that'll be it. Um, see you next time. Let's see what deck we create. All right, catch you guys later.